Good morning. It is the day before my surgery. I just wanted to start vlogging because it kind of feels like a holiday in a little, in a little, in little ways. Um, Molly and I are here at my house. She's been here since Friday. It's my little sister. And um, I'm still feeling really good. I had a lot of like news outlets reach out to me wanting to interview me about my story. So that's something that I might do today, which is exciting, you know, while I still have a voice. My manager's kind of coordinating all of that. Um, I'm a little nervous, but whatever. I think the reason that it's feeling like such kind of a festive time is because I think for me, holiday feelings is when like family gets together and my family's kind of getting together for this. Molly's been here, but my mom and my stepdad uh, flew in last night. So right now I'm in the kitchen using my little one single pour over thing to make everyone coffee. And then we're going to drive over and pick up my mom and my stepdad. And we're all gonna go to the dog park with Ruby. Come here. We're all gonna have a very fun day together. We're gonna go to the dog park and run around, right? Still feeling like things could be a lot worse. And I'm still having kind of a good time. So yeah, that's, that's, how, that's where we are right now. And um, can't wait to take you throughout the rest of this journey with me. How do you feel about surgery tomorrow? Ready. <laughs> I have not had any time to update you on anything during this pre-surgery vlog, but I uh, just did an interview with Good Morning America. I think it went well. Nothing feels very real right now, but I'm excited that my story gets to be shared even more widely and yeah i don't know now i'm getting ready to go to class or i mean clearly i'm not but i am about to get ready to go to class and then i have a, another interview with the washington post after class and then we're gonna go to dinner <laughs> and we were exactly where we were supposed to be and that circle wasn't anywhere else on anyone else so that's kind of what it looked like, but I can send a picture if that's helpful. Yeah, so when it first happened, I remember thinking, I just remember being like curious more than anything. Good morning. It is about 4.46 a.m., day of my surgery. My family is heading over here to pick me up. Just wanted to show you the cute little surgery outfit. It's 4.30 a.m., it's surgery day. We're on the way to pick Sally up. It's going to be amazing. I've said my prayers. Let's do this. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling kind of tired because it's not even 5 a.m., but I feel good. I'm curious what it's gonna be like, and I'm trusting that everything's gonna be okay. So look at my cute outfit. Got my space boots and my scarf, and I'm gonna be so cozy. Also, yes, I have my nose piercing plug in uh, because you can't wear metal, apparently. We're on our way to the surgery. Molly just asked me if I'm gonna miss my thyroid. Are you gonna miss my thyroid? A lot? A good amount. There's not gonna miss the cancer, that's for sure. No? Are you gonna wait in the waiting room like it's a movie? Yeah. Gonna... I brought my stuffed animal. Are you gonna document? Yeah. Molly will be taking over for me in just a moment. Make them so we can get that perfect moreless look that Jenny has in mind. What do you think? <laughs> we need to get what is this? Admitted? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. has been playing with my hair. Trying to get me to do breathing techniques. I'm trying, but she doesn't want to, so. I don't want to do it. I'm breathing. I'm also breathing where I'm menopause. It happens. Okay, so these are my clothes. <laughs> I have some wipes for my body. Oh, they're, they're warm. Sorry. Nice wipes. This is for my hair. These are for my feet. This is for my body. And this is so I don't get cold. What's for your body body? Actually, I don't have anything for that. You're tired. You're allowed to use the bed. Yeah. What? <laughs> I know. <sighs> Thank you. Do you want it open all the way? Yes. Yeah? Okay. 
bees and fresh coffee and wraps and like all that kind of stuff. Oh my god, you guys are so cute. So I'm like, this is my mom, and I'm like, I want to go like hug her right now. So my surgeon did um, marked up where she's gonna make incisions. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it means, um, but apparently she's doing it where she thinks my neck will crease naturally. So it'll be right here. Okay, well, I realized we missed a chapter. So Sally's in surgery right now. The last thing that happened was she put on her cap, she put on her gown, she was in bed resting, she met with the medical team and um, you know, she talked to the doctor who's going to be operating on her. She talked to the CRNA, the anesthesiologist. She met with a medical student who's going to be observing her surgery. Um, and then the CRNA got started on their job of helping her relax. And relax she did. I think that she went in feeling good. <laughs> Trust me, I know I'm done. We will take care of her. Thank you. <laughs> we have a few snippets of her with the Versed. And let me just tell you that girl has a smile. Um, <clears throat> we're hoping surgery will be done in about an hour or so. It's been about four hours already um, of her in there. And we're just praying. Such a good yeah, sister. Really are. I'll take good care of her. <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> She's amazing and we love her. <laughs> <laughs> I do have chapstick. Do it. Baby sips a lot, but I just eat them. My mouths are so dry. Okay. Hi, everybody's looking at you. But you don't have a no thyroid. No thyroid. My voice is tired, but I think that I think they did a good job. Is this a video? Yeah. Hi guys. Did I already make one of these? No. Hi. I'm in post op, mm -hmm. and I feel good. Um, it doesn't hurt too bad. Everyone here has been super nice to me. I feel like I'm in very good hands. My voice does get a little bit tired, but it's also because I can't shut up. Highly recommend. I'm very excited that I don't have to drink thickened water. I can drink this. Highly recommend taking a little sip and then just letting it trickle down your esophagus. It feels really, really good. If you are ever in this position, get one of these. This is my third. People don't seem to want, to want me to drink it that much, but I'm. But then they keep giving it to me, so it's nice. What? Okay, you get it? <laughs> e -t. E -t. I can move my neck. It feels like a really bad sore throat, but other than that, not that bad. I can touch my scar. It has glue all over it. it. Doesn't hurt. And another really exciting thing is that they didn't really, they didn't damage my nerves. I can lift my. This is a big deal. I don't have the mental capacity to describe it to you, but that's a big deal. Thank you. Yeah, she just to move out of PACU around 10 last night and we're going to go see what her room situation is but she seems to 
me in a lot. Um, she seems to be in good spirits. And she was able to have oatmeal with blueberries for breakfast, which she was really excited about. So we'll see her soon. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Molly. Update? I feel good. It's like having a really bad sore throat, but nothing else hurts. I ate a bowl of oatmeal. Um, I told them. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. The blueberries. I was, the blueberries were really good. They were like fresh blueberries. They were like really tart. They were delicious. Even more than the pain medication, drinking really cold things helps. But also I've learned since having my coffee this morning that drinking warm things helps too. So it's like, I like the temperature because I think my throat can feel the temperature difference and it just, it's nice to feel something in there. But this is to make sure that my lung volume is really good. It's at 2000 right now. I'll show you how I use it. Yeah, I breathe out and then I breathe in. That one was lower, so I have to go lower. I'm down to 1500, but this is to make sure that my lungs don't collapse. I have to do this several times. Thank you so much. Yeah.